morning dear students welcome to our samagra shiksha vijayanagaram online classes uh, today our session is 7th class mathematics uh, simple equations first of all myself introduction my name is g santoshi mathematics crt in kgbv bondapalli today our class is 7th class maths the third chapter simple equations in this chapter we have to learn about the introduction of simple equations and what is the simple equation solving simple equations solving simple equations after that from solution to equation how to find out the solution of a equation next at, at last application of a simple equation uh, application real life situations no application of simple equations first of all we have to uh, learn about simple equation uh, in this introduction first we begin with uh, a mathematical statement look look the age of sita's father is 2 years less than 3 times the present age of sita the age of sita's father is 2 years less than 3 times the present age of sita next what is sita's age if her father's age is 40 here here we don't know the we don't know sita's age so sita's age is a unknown quantity unknown quantity so now let us let us assume sita's is equal to x years here here sita's is is unknown quantity so we assume that sita's is is a variable a variable that is x years here in this condition her sita's father is is less than 3 times the present age of sita present sita's is here we assume present sita's is is x years her her father's is her father's is here in this condition her father's is is less than 3 times the present age of sita present age of sita is x years 3 times of sita's is is that is 3x 3 times 3 times of sita's age is 3x less than 2x less than 2x that means 3x minus 2 so her sita's father age is 3x minus 2 years 3x minus 2 years and next we have to find sita's age if her father's age is 40 here in this situation her father's age is given as 40 years ah uh, her father's is her father's is is given 40 years so 3x minus 2 is equal to 40 3x minus 2 is equals to 40 so for this condition this equation this is first of all this is an equation will become from this situation from this mathematical statement using this mathematical statement this equation will be come this is 3x minus 2 equal to 40 so this is a this this a this is this equation has two statements two statements and this equation this is this is a equation which this is a equation which variable with exponent 1 so the equation which the equation which has only one variable with exponent 1 is said to be simple equation this equation will help us to find the sita's age to find present age of sita so this is a simple equation this is a simple equation this is a simple equation this is in this equation the left hand side statement is said to be lhs 
the left hand side statement is said to be LHS, the right hand side statement is said to be RHS, RHS. And this is a variable term and 3x is a variable term here x is Here x is said to be variable. Here x is said to be variable. In this variable term, 3 is said to be coefficient. 3 is said to be coefficient. And 2, comma 4. And 2 and 40. Here, here 2, 40 is said to be constants. So, so dear students, here from this mathematical statement, uh, we have to convert this equation. This is said to be simple equation. The equation, the simple equation is said to be the equation which has only one variable with exponent 1. Only one variable with exponent 1 is said to be simple equation. Here, for this simple equation, uh, left hand side statement is said to be briefly uh, LHS and right hand side expression is said to be RHS. Uh, for LHS, here 3x is variable term, 3x minus 2 is variable term. This 3x minus 2 is variable term. Here x is variable, 3 is coefficient and 2 comma 40 are constants. So, here we get the equation 3x minus 2 equal to 40. Uh, here, this equation is said to be simple equation. How? This equation has, this equation has only one variable with the exponent 1. So, this equation is said to be simple equation. So, here we note that simple equation. An equation in one variable with the highest power 1 is known as simple equation. An equation, an equation in one variable with highest power 1 is known as simple equation. Here, two examples. y minus 7, y minus 7 equal to 11. So, this is a simple equation. Why? Because this equation has only one variable y with exponent 1. So, y minus 7 equal to 11 is a simple equation. And 2m minus 5 equal to m plus 7. This is also a simple equation. This is also a simple equation. Here the variable m with exponent 1. So, this is also an example of simple equation. Uh, children understand the understand what is the simple equation. Simply an, an equation in one variable with the exponent 1 is known as simple equation. Now we have to convert a, a mathematical statement into simple equation. For this, for this we for this we have to do example 1. Simple equation. For this, for this, 
here length of rectangle is 3 meters more than the breadth of rectangle and its perimeter is given 24 meters here length depends on the breadth of rectangle so here the breadth of rectangle is an unknown quantity so we have to assume breadth of rectangle as uh, variable x meters and length and length equals to length of rectangle is 3 meters more than its breadth so 3 meters more than x is x plus 3 3 meters more than x is become x plus 3 so here breadth of rectangle is x meters and the length equal to x plus 3 meters then perimeter perimeter of rectangle perimeter of neck rectangle dear students we know uh, we know the formula for perimeter of rectangle what is the peri what is the formula for perimeter of rectangle is is 2 into length plus breadth that means 2 into length plus breadth so
Then 3 plus 1 that is equal to 
equal to 4. This equation become as true. This is true. So, so for x equal to 3, the equation becomes true. For, for the value of variable which the equation becomes true is said to be solution is said to be solution of, e of an equation let the r root of the equation here 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 x equal to 3 is said to be solution of x plus 1 equal to 4 so uh, we have to find the by this way we have to find the solution of an equation so here the equation consider this equation x plus 1 equal to 4 for for the value of variable which becomes the equation true is said to be solution of equation here for this equation we guess for the value of 3 x plus 1 it becomes 4 for this equation we can guess now here substituting x equal to 3 in this equation we get x plus 1 substituting x equal to 3 3 plus 1 equal to 4 so the equation become, uh, become as 4 this is LHS LHS 3 plus 1 4 RHS is also 4 so the equation become as true so here x equal to here x equal to 3 is solution of the given equation x plus 1 equal to 4 so we have to write the solution or root of an equation is said to be the value of the variable the value of the variable which equation becomes true is called the solution or the root of the equation. The value of the variable, variable of a value of the equation growth though. So the value of the variable for which equation becomes true is called the solution, is called the solution or root of the equation. So uh, finding the solutions, finding the solution or root of the equation, we have different different methods. Uh, the first method is we have to learn trial and error method. Next example, we have to check. We have to check the any. We have to check the variable value is satisfying the equation or not. Next example, we have to do for that uh, verification. Uh, children understand or not? That is, what is the solution? The value of the variable, the value of the variable for which equation becomes true is said to be solution or root of the simple equation. Next, for any variable value, we have to check that the equation becomes true or false. The next example is uh, to take verification of the root. Now we have to check uh, the variable value is solution or not to the given equation. So here check whether the value given is solution to the given equation or not. Before this, uh, uh, this problem, uh, we have to find the how to we have to find how to the solution of equation uh, will find. Now we have to verify the value is solution to the equation or not. How can we verify? Uh, here 2k minus 11 equal to 5 is an equation. We have to check k equal to 7 is solution of given equation or not. Now, uh, now we substituting the value of k equal to 7 in this equation. This equation has two parts. Um, in the introduction from, in the introduction we have to discuss about the this uh, LHS and RHS. In here LHS the left hand side expression is 2x 2k minus 11 2k minus 11 and right hand side expression is equal to 5 right hand side expression is equal to 5. Now uh, we have to substitute k equal to 7 in the LHS form. Substituting substituting k equal to 7 in LHS in LHS uh, 2 LHS is equal to 2k minus 11. Substituting k equal to 7 2 into 7 minus 11 2 into 7 minus 7 2 7 is equal to 14 minus 11. 14 minus 11 equals to 3. 14 minus 
14 minus 11 equal to 3. Here 2k minus 11 equal to 5. Here RH is equal to 5. We get LH is equal to 3. Here 3 is not equal to 5. That is RH is. 3 is not equal to 5. That is R H H S. So here, L H H S is not equal to R H H S. So K equal to 7 is not a solution. Not a solution of given equation. Here, L H H S. Is not equal to R H S. So K equal to seven is not a solution of given equation. In this way, we have to verify the variable value is solution or not. So next, next we have to find the solution of an equation by trial and error method. Now consider an example. Now we have to find the solution of equation. 6n minus 1 equal to 9 by trial and error method. This is a method for finding the solution of an solution of an equation. 6n minus 1 equal to 9. We have to take uh, values of n, uh, values of n uh, when the LH is equal to R H S when the LH is equal to R H S. We have to taking so many values uh, when it will become as true for first value of n and here lh is equal to 6n minus 1 and rh is equal to 29 uh, if is lh is equal to r uh, is lh is equal to rh is the that variable value is said to be solution of given equation here we take n value as 0 we take n value as Here R H is equal to 29, and value equal to 0. Here L H is equal to 6n minus 1. We will substitute 0 in this end. 6 into 0 minus 1. Here 6 zeros 0. 0 minus 1 will become as minus 1. So and R H is equal to 29. Here we get the L H S value is minus 1, and R H S value is given as 29. Is L H S is equal to R H S? No, no, no. L H S is minus one and R H S is nine. So here L H S is not equal to R H S. L H S is equal to R H S. No. Next we take another value one. Another value one. Next take and value one. Substituting n equal to Uh, n equal to one in L H S we get six into one minus one. Six into one minus one. Six ones are uh, six minus one will become as five. So here R H S is equal to twenty nine. L H S is five. R H S is twenty nine. Is L H S equal to R H S? No. L H S is not equal to R H S. Let's go and take another value. Two by n. So here six into l h s six into two six into two minus one six two six become as twelve minus one. Here we get twelve minus one equal to eleven. Here we get the l h s value is eleven and the r h s is given as twenty nine. Is l h s is a equal to r h s? No, no. Here also l h s is not equal to r h s. Next, take another value three for n. Next, we have also uh, substitute n equal to three uh, in L H S. Six three L H S six into three minus one. Six into three minus one. Six three will become as eighteen minus one. Eighteen minus one will become seventeen. So here we get the L H S value is. 17 and the R H S is given as 29. Is L H S equal to R H S? No. Here also we get um, no. Next we take we take value of N is 4. Next we have to substitute N equal to 4 in this equation. 6 into 4 minus. 
minus 1, 4, 6, 4, 6, 6, 4, 7, 1, 4, minus 1, 1, 4, minus 1. We get 24 minus 1 is 23. So, we get for substituting n equal to 4, we get the elements value is 23 and the RDGC is 29. Here also, RDGC is not equal to RDGC. So, here also, there is this. No. Next, substituting another value, 5. Substituting n equal to 5. Substituting k n equal to now we have to substitute n equal to 5 in all the n LHS. 6 into 5 minus 1. 6, 6 and minus 1 LHS. 6 into 5 minus 1. It will become as 6, 5, 30 minus 1 equals to 29. Here substituting n equal to 5 we get the LHS value is equals to 29. And the RHS is given as 29. Here LHS is of LHS and RHS equal to 29. So for, for the value of N we get LHS equal to RHS. For the value of N we get LHS equals to RHS. Children is for value for substituting N equal to 5 is LHS equal to RHS. Yes, here for value of N we get LHS equal to RHS. So here the value of N is solution of given equation. For the variable value which, which becomes the equation can be true is said to be the solution of equation. Here taking some values, uh, taking some values to N we get uh, for n equal to 5 the equation is true. So n equal to 5, n equal to 5 is solution of the given equation 6 and minus 1 equal to 9. So by this way taking some more values to get uh, satisfying the equation for the variable value uh, uh, for finding the solution. Uh, this method is said to be this method is said to be trial and error method for finding the solution of equation. So taking some more values, some more values of uh, satisfying the equation is said, to, is said to be trial and error method for finding the solution of equation. Okay, okay children, understand? Okay children, understand? Uh, in this class, first, in this class, first we have learned about Simple equation, simple equation, what is simple equation? The equation which has only one variable having the power as 1 is said to be simple equation. And, then, and next we have learned how to convert a mathematical statement into a uh, simple equation. After that we learned also, uh, we learned also the conversion of simple equation, the conversion of simple equation into a mathematical, mathematical statement and next we have to uh, find the solution of the equation, solution of the equation and, uh, and also we have to check the variable value, the variable value is solution of the equation or not. Uh, verification, we have to learn also verification of the equation, solution or not and then uh, and, and now we have to learn uh, learn uh, the so finding the solution of the equation and learn finding the solution of the equation by trial, trial and error method. Next, children, we next uh, we have to uh, we have to do 3.1 exercise some problems and the remaining problems you have to uh, do as a test assignment.
conversion of an arithmetical statement into uh, into a simple equation. This is the first problem. Write the equations of the following mathematical statement. First problem: write the equations into write the equations of the following mathematical statement. A number. A number x. A number x decreases. A number x decreases by five. Is fourteen. And the second problem is eight. Eight times. Eight times of y plus three is minus five. If you add one fourth, one fourth of z. Two three, you get you get seven. So in exercise three point one, the first problem is conversion of statement into mathematical mathematical conversion of mathematical statement into a simple equation. Here we know we are going to discuss three problems. We will discuss three problems. First first problem is the number x decreased by five. Is fourteen. The number x, the number x, decreased by five. Decreased how much? Students five. So x is decreased by five equal to fourteen. This is the first statement as equation. And the second, the, the second statement is eight times of five plus three is minus five. Eight times of five. Eight times of five. That is eight by. Eight times of y plus three. Eight times of y. Eight y plus three is equals to minus five. Is equals to minus five. This is the second statement conversion as simple equation. And the third, if you add one fourth of z, if you add one fourth of z to three, you get seven. One fourth of z. That is z by four. One fourth of z. If you add one fourth of z to three, z by four plus three, we get seven. We get seven. So uh, these problems, uh, these three uh, mathematical statements converted as the uh, converted as the simple equation. The simple equation. This is the first problem. Uh, and the, and the second problem. And the second one is write the equations into statement form. Write the equations into statement form. What are what are they? This m minus five equal to twelve. M minus five equal to twelve. And a by three equal to four. A by three equal to four. So write these equations into a into statements. First. M minus five equal to one. M minus five equal to ten. So five. If we subtract five from um, from the number m is, we get one. So so you subtract. You subtract five from the number. From the number m, from the number m, we get twelve. You get twelve. You get twelve. If you subtract five from the number m, you get twelve. Next, the second one, a by three equal to four. 
minus 7. Here we have to divide 4 ones, 4 twos. So we get 2, 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1. So we have to get the value, negative value minus, minus here. The largest number is uh, 7, uh, 7 sign is negative minus 7. So 2 minus 7, we get the negative integer 7 minus 2, 5. So we get the negative integer minus 5. 2 minus 1, 2 minus 7 will become as minus 5, minus 5. Here the RHS value is 5. We get LHS as minus 5. We get LHS as minus 5. So here clearly LHS is not equal to RHS. LHS is not equal to RHS. So here the value of P equal to 8 is not a solution of the given equation. Here LHS is not equal to RHS. We get the LHS value is minus 5 and the RHS is given as given as 5. So LHS, since LHS is not equal to RHS, so P equal to A is not a solution. Not a solution of given equation. Not a solution of given equation. So in this way, we have to verify the variable value is solution or not of the given equation. So this is the third problem. And the last problem In exercise 3.1, in exercise 3.1, the last problem is solve the equation 3x minus 7 equal to 5 by using trial and error method. Using trial and error method. Next, substituting x equal to 1 in LHS. 
substituting x equal to 1 in LHS 3 into 1 minus 7. 3 into 1 will become as 3 minus 7. Here, 3 minus 7, we get negative integer minus 4. Minus 4. So, 3 minus 7. 3 minus 7, we get minus 4. So, here, we get the LHS value is minus 4. And RHS is 9. RHS is 5. Children, is, we, we, we substituting x equal to 1. Is LHS equal to RHS? No, here also we get the no. Next, next, substituting x equal to 2. Substituting for value of x, we get LHS 3 into 2 minus 7. 3 into 2, we get 6 minus 7. Here, we get the negative integer minus 1. Negative integer minus 1. 6 minus 7 will become as minus 1. Here, the here, here for substituting x equal to 2, we get the LHS value is minus 1. And RHS is 5. And RHS is 5. Children, is LHS equal to RHS? Here also, no. Here, we get LHS is not equal to RHS. Next, we substituting x equal to 3. Substituting x equal to 3 in LHS, 3 into 3 minus 1. 3 into 3, we get 9 minus 1. 9 minus 1 will become as 8. 9 minus 1 will become 8. And the R H is 5. Children, is LHS equal to RHS? No, LHS is 8 and RHS is 5. Next, we substitute x equal to 4. For value of 4, for value of 4, 3 into 4 minus 1. 3 into 4 minus 1. 12, 3 fourths, 12 minus 7.
are some problems of our exercise 3.1. You have to do some more problems, some of these type of some more problems uh, as an assignment. Dear students, in this session, in this session we have uh, discussed some uh, we have discussed some topics, some topics. In this session, first we have to dis first we discussed by first we discussed simple equation. What is simple equation? The equation, the equation which have one variable, which have only one variable uh, with exponent one is said to be simple equation. And after that, and after that we have to convert a mathematical statement into a simple equation. And uh, simple equation, conversion of simple equation into mathematical statements. And we have to guess and find the uh, solution of, what is the solution of an equation? What is the solution or root of an equation? The variable value which, the variable value which becomes a equation be, can be true is said to be the solution or root of equation. Understand students? The variable value which becomes the variable value which becomes an equation can be true is said to be solution or root of the given equation and we have to find the uh, solution of equation by using try and error method and we and we also learned how to check the solution of an equation is or not by substituting that variable value. These all topics are we have to discuss in this class, and we have already we have uh, to we have done some more uh, problems in our exercise 3.1. You have to do uh, some ex some problems as an assignment in your notebook.